How's it going, guys? This is Brett Darian here, and last year I made a video about laser discs, and I showed some video footage of a laser disc being played using this exact player right here, the Pioneer COD D604. And in that video, I was trying to show differences between laser disc and VHS, and how laser disc can look better than a standard VHS movie. Um, but that footage I used was captured digitally using a computer, and some people in the comments were wondering, well, what about a CRT? What would a laser disc look like using a CRT? And at the time, I did not have a CRT, but now I do. Um, this is a Panasonic 13-inch TV VCR combo. I did do a video on this TV a few months ago, and in that video I did show a laser disc being played on this TV. Uh, but I did not compare it against VHS, so that's what we'll be doing in this video. Now, this is just a simple TV, very standard, you know, no frills TV, uh, just mono sound, and just one composite input in the front, so it's just like a little TV you would typically find in like a kid's bedroom in the 90s, um, but, this still, but this will still serve this purpose just fine, and we'll be able to see what VHS and Laserdisc look like on this CRT. Now, the only way to do this is to film the screen directly, so the quality of that can vary, but I'll do my best. So in order to do this test, I'm going to have to use movies that I have both on Laserdisc and VHS, and I have two of them here. The first one is Josh and Sam, and I also have Hook on Laserdisc and on VHS. Now, Hook might give me some copyright problems, so I'm probably just going to use screenshots of those, but Josh and the Sam is a very obscure movie, so I don't think it'll give me any copyright problems, so I should be able to use video footage of that. So this way, we'll get both. So this should be the ultimate comparison between VHS and Laserdisc on a CRT. So first, we're going to use Josh and Sam. So we'll get the VHS movie out here. And I'll put it in. And we'll see what this looks like on this TV. Okay, so now let's put in the Laserdisc version of Josh and Sam. And we will play that on the TV, and we'll see how that looks. Hopefully you can tell there um, that the Laserdisc version definitely looked a lot cleaner um, than the uh, than the VHS movie. Definitely less visual noise. I'm not exactly sure if it was sharper and brighter or more colorful, but it was definitely a much more cleaner image. So now let's try Hook. Okay, so I did record some video footage of Hook using both VHS and Laserdisc. Uh, but unfortunately, as I suspected, I'm not able to use the video clips due to copyright problems. So hopefully I can get by with just using screenshots of that video footage. So this is the first screenshot here. And here's the second screenshot showing an adult Peter Pan with his family in the audience. 
And here's the third screenshot showing the kids on the stage. All right, well, that was the VHS copy of Hook. Still looks a bit soft and washed out, doesn't it? Even on a small 13-inch CRT screen. Well, now let's look at the Laserdisc version. Now, I really like the packaging here of this Laserdisc copy because you can open this up here and, and look at all of this information here and these pictures and stuff, some behind-the-scenes footage. Really cool. And the Laserdisc version of the film actually comes on two discs. The second disc is right here. And the first disc is right here. Get out here with one hand. There we go. Very nice looking. Very excellent packaging. So I'll take this out and we'll put it in. And we'll view that on the CRT. So here's the first screenshot of Hook on Laserdisc. And... And believe it or not, this is the same scene you saw in the first screenshot of the VHS copy. And you can see it looks a lot different. And that's because this is the deluxe widescreen version of Hook on Laserdisc. Uh, the VHS copy was just the full screen version. So the widescreen version gives you way more detail and way more of the frame on the left and right side. It's just incredible. I mean, take a look back at the VHS copy of it and you can just see how much more you see on the widescreen version of the film. Uh, and I'll go more in detail on this later, but you can see the same thing here in this second screenshot of the family sitting in the audience. You just see way more detail. It just looks it just looks a lot better. And the same thing here in the third screenshot of the kids on the stage. You see more detail. And even though the, the frame is a bit shrunk down and it's letterbox, um, I do think this looks better. And this is what movie you know buffs and what movie enthusiasts prefer to see because you see the entire frame of the film. Here's another screenshot taken from the VHS copy of the movie. And once again, we're seeing the family sitting in the audience. And when we flip back to the widescreen deluxe version of the movie on Laserdisc, we can see how much wider viewing angle that gives us and how much more we can see on the left and right sides. But there are probably still quite a few people who would prefer to watch the movie like this because, because the image fills the screen. And so that just looks more appealing to watch than the letterbox in the middle of the screen, especially on a tiny screen like this. Now keep in mind that for a while, Laserdisc was the only video format where you could get these widescreen versions of films. Uh, some widescreen versions of movies eventually came to VHS, but most of them were still only on Laserdisc. Uh, but unfortunately, Laserdiscs were so expensive back in the day, and the players were even more expensive, that most people didn't buy into it, and so they just kept watching their movies on VHS like this. But if you did have a Laserdisc player with a Laserdisc, then you could have been watching the movie like this back in the you know, early 90s and even 80s. But remember, though, that these are just rough images taken with the camera pointed directly at the screen, and they don't necessarily represent the quality that Laserdisc can give you. And I do think that these screenshots here of the widescreen version of the movie are kind of out of focus, so it actually might make them look a little more blurry than the VHS version, but trust me in that it is not more blurry. In fact, it looks better. Um, but you can still see, though, how the Laserdisc version is uh, not only the, uh, the extra viewing angle, but the colors are a lot deeper and more saturated. And the image just looks cleaner and just crisper. So Laserdisc definitely gives you better quality videos, um, which obviously doesn't matter now because now we have DVDs and Blu-rays and stuff. So none of this really matters now in 2024. But like 30 years ago, this definitely would have been the, the premier video format to own in your own home uh, for sure. Um, 
But anyhow, guys, that's really the point I wanted to make with this video. Um, hope you all enjoyed it, and thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.